Hello, my name is Autumn Rainier and I am the founder and CEO of Skill Crush, an online tech education company where tech is for everyone, especially if you are a woman, a person of color, or a mid to late career changer. And I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel where I share insider tips and tricks on how to make the career change into tech, even if you have no prior experience and no computer science degree. In this video, I will be sharing why front-end development is one of the best career choices for anyone who is looking to make a career change into tech. I will be sharing about the essential skills that front-end developers need in order to get an entry-level job, but for a deeper dive into that topic, please check out the video I have entirely focused on this topic, which is called Five Essential Skills if you want to become a front-end developer. All right, so let's get this party started because I love to convince people to become front-end developers. But before we talk about that, let's talk about what a front-end developer does. Front-end developers code the front-end or the client-facing side of a website. And that means that they use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to code all the awesome parts of a website that you and I interact with on a daily basis. We're talking about the content, the layout, the brand, and all of the fun interactions. This is distinct from what backend or full stack developers do, which is handle the back end of a website, which includes the databases and writing the programming languages that carry information from the database back to the web browser where you and I see it. So with that in mind, let's talk about reason number one, that front end development is such a good entry level tech job for anyone who is looking to make a career change into tech. Reason number one, front end developers only code in three coding languages. That's right. It is estimated that in the history of humankind, there have been something like 10,000 coding languages. But the good news for you, if you wanna be a front end developer, is that you only need to know three of them, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's because those are the only three coding languages that can be used on the front end of websites. The even better news is that these three languages are relatively easy to learn. You can absolutely master HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and even a JavaScript framework like React.js in four to six months of study in an online course or a coding bootcamp. And I know this to be true because I've helped thousands of students do just that. Reason number two, there is no degree required to become a front-end developer. Although computer science programs might teach HTML and CSS, it's not really what those programs are about. Computer science programs are really about skills and theory, which are pretty far from what front-end developers are dealing with on a day-to-day basis, which is why it is very, very rare to find a front-end development job role that requires a computer science degree. What is required is that you demonstrate that you have the skills that you need in order to do the job. And the way you do that is you need to put together a portfolio of work samples and projects that you have built that showcase your skills in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript so that your future employer can see that you know how to do the things that they're gonna need you to do. Reason number three, you can get real world professional experience without someone hiring you to do it. The beauty of the web is that the web is for everyone. And so anyone who knows HTML, CSS, and JavaScript can build websites and deploy them to the web. And what that means for you is that you can gain front-end development experience, the kind that employers are gonna find super, super valuable without anyone giving you permission or hiring you to do it. Although of course getting a freelance job or getting hired to work as a front-end developer is awesome, you can absolutely create experiences, real world professional quality experiences for yourself to gain the experience necessary to get that first full-time entry-level job in tech. And the way you do this is by building web projects that allow you to apply the skills that you're learning and to build up your portfolio of front-end developer work. Reason number four, there are front-end developer jobs in practically every industry. As technology and the web disrupt every industry and as more things move to the cloud and things need to be accessed from a website, so does the need for savvy front-end developers. And what's important here for career changers is that this is where you can really take advantage of your transferable skills, those skills that you gained in your past career and leverage them for a new career as a front-end developer in a similar related industry. And this is actually exactly what Skillcrest student Allison Green did when she transitioned from being a student coordinator at one university to being a UI UX designer at another university. Reason number five, you make great money. So on average, front-end developers make over $100,000 according to the website Indeed. 
And what we see with our students getting their first front end developer jobs is that the average amount that they make is about $70,000, although we have seen students get as much as $150,000 in their first job. And more importantly, what we often find is that for students who do make sort of closer to that $70,000 mark in their first job, often within a year or two, they're able to increase their salaries up to that six figure mark. So the money is there for the taking. Reason number six, it is a great jumping off point for so many other roles in tech. There are so many roles in tech where you could start off as a front-end developer and then go into those roles. So that includes more advanced you know, skills and types of roles in front-end development. So JavaScript developer, React JS developer, that kind of thing. You could go into full stack development by adding another programming language on. You could transition to back-end programming if that's what you wanted to do product management, user experience design, or you know, user experience research, engineering management, really the world is your oyster as a front-end developer. Those skills are so applicable. They are going to go into so many different areas. Really, you have so many opportunities. And finally, a last bonus reason to consider learning front-end development skills is that these skills also will make you qualified for a, a bunch of other types of roles in tech, including website administrators, web developers in some instances, technical support engineers, solution engineers, and that type of thing. So there's a lot of opportunity, even if you're not narrowly focused on front-end development. All right, so I hope this video has gotten you excited about the potential of you becoming a front-end developer. But if you wanna get even more inspired, then I would love for you to check out the videos that we have about skill crush students who have successfully broken into tech as front-end developers. Students like Caitlin Marshall, Leslie Hogue, Emily Brooks, Sadie J, just to name a few. And I will include links to their stories in this description of this video down below. And if you are curious about coding, want to dabble in it a little bit more, I would invite you to come and join the free online coding class that we have over at skillcrush.com. You'll get a great introduction to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the three skills that you need in order to be a front-end developer, in addition to getting a little primer on visual design and user experience design, and getting some exclusive content from our Get Hired Career Coaching Program. And with that, I just want to say thank you for watching my video. I would love it if you hit that like button. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in our next video.